This is a really long. <laughs> it's pretty much the coolest. <laughs> Why do owls make pellets? <laughs> sure, well, so owls, um, like this long-eared owl I have right here, eat other animals. And so they can eat a wide range of animals, such as squirrels, things that are smaller, like mice, they eat mm -hmm. snakes and other birds. And when they eat them, they can't digest everything. They can only digest the meat inside of the body. And so what ends up happening is the fur and the bones or whatever they can't digest actually comes out in something called an owl pellet. So it's like barf, basically. It's basically owl barf, okay. yes. Um, and don't worry about it because we've uh -huh. actually sanitized this owl barf. So you, you can totally touch it. Um, this came out of our great horned owl. So okay. this is a pellet the size um, that a larger bird, larger than this long-eared yeah. owl would have. Okay. Um, and this is a pellet that something small like our screech owl, okay. um, Scooter, is going to come out of its mouth. So okay. you can see there's a difference in size based on the size of the owl. Yeah. They look different. Yeah. And that's just this because... white. Yeah. And this one's a little bit darker. Uh -huh. It's based on the color mouse that they ate. You ready to dig in and I'm see what so we I'm so ready. So we just use our hands? Yeah. It's okay, easy. Cool. It's easiest just to pull them apart. And so I usually just dig in there. All right. And I feel like I'm about to dine on <laughs> Looks dine delicious, on doesn't it? Yeah. Um, it, first thing I do is kind of open it and just kind of spread the... The remnants on the I see bones. Right? I know. It's very quickly that you'll start to see bones. <laughs> you know, a uh, owl this size or Odin might eat four mice in one night. So you wow. might have multiple skeletons in one pellet. Okay. So it wouldn't just be one complete skeleton. How often do they make these pellets? They uh, regurgitate once a day. <laughs> you just never know when it happens. It's usually about 10 hours or so after they eat. Oh. Um, but every morning we go in and we find these um, and then we use them in classrooms. Now here's something that's really cool. This is a tooth, a mouse tooth. That's huge. It is, because yeah. they it's usually the only this portion would be sticking out of the mouth mm -hmm. and the out of the um, bone and the rest would be ready to grow. Oh, okay. So that just came out. And so that's the size of a rodent wow. tooth. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> so there's things that you're gonna see that are similar to what we have. So for example, look at this. Here is a ball. Yeah. And oh, a like socket. a ball joint. Yeah, oh, a ball. so like it's yeah. it's hip joint. It's so like a puzzle. If it's right in like that. Oh wow! Isn't that neat? Yeah. And so, um, if you have the time, oh, here's another one. So I've got two. Oh, I have actually. Look at this. I found one, two, three, oh, four wow. bottom jaws. Some of these things that are like little circles yeah. are the vertebrae. Oh, okay. Like and like something little like, like that these. is a nail. Oh, these or, are nails? Yep, those can either be their nails like or my nail. <laughs> they're, they're a little sharper yeah. than your nails. Um, or they could be ribs. Oh, okay. So either one of those. One or the other. Okay. So Skull. do you want to do the honors? Do the so honors. Okay. basically you just pull all of that fur out and then you're gonna start to see it look really like a skull. So there's the eye sockets. Oh yeah. Isn't that neat? I think I broke it's it. It's okay, it's it's already broken. <laughs> That mouse had issues before you doing that. Um, well, here's here's one part of the skull. Yeah, that's perfect. And then this is. Yep. Whoa, Isn't that yeah. cool? And so these would it's just so, go. It's kind of cute, actually. It is, yeah. I know. And so and that would go right underneath, just like that. Oh wow. Our volunteers collect these every day, um, and so we have quite a collection of these owl pellets, mm -hmm. um, and which we're very lucky because we take them into classrooms and schools all the time and dissect them. Yeah, it's awesome. They think it's, and then they want to take home the bones, which is really up to the teachers. Yeah. But you know, it's That's still cool. pretty. They yeah. can have a little like they have a little baggie full of bones, which yeah. I'm sure their families love to find when they're going through their backpacks. <laughs> is this a Bottom. mouse? Or is this a shrew? No, that would be a, a mouse. mouse. Unless an unlucky <laughs> other rodent got into the owl enclosure, uh -huh. it's definitely a mouse. We did have a chipmunk get into our screech owl enclosure. Oh. So um, the screech owls had chipmunk one night. And, oh. but you know. It was I, a gourmet meal yeah. for that night. <laughs> gourmet meal. And yeah. we feed them not, a non, not alive mice. Mm -hmm. So they don't actually have to hunt for them because most of our owls have something wrong with them. Yeah. So if we put live mice in, there we would just populate Mill Grove with mice yeah. and so instead of doing that they get non uh, live animals but when the okay. uh, live animal gets in there by accident it's what can you do it's survival <laughs> of the fittest exactly 
So you found this. It is amazing. Oh, yeah. I think. Oh, was that the one found, I found? Yeah, okay. I, I broke the one that oh. <laughs> So this is in pretty good yeah. shape. Um, this is the skull. I'm going to turn it around a little bit just because it's really cool to see the underneath the of it. Yeah, you can see the little molars there. Isn't that neat? So you can see mice are mostly um, herbivores. And mm -hmm. so, you know, they're eating grasses and seeds and mm -hmm. things like that. And so they're going to need those kinds of teeth to grind things down. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, they've got those cool front teeth that we yeah. showed earlier. And when we actually, we could probably in just a second show the bottom jaw, which mm -hmm. looks, so this is normally attached together mm -hmm. unless it accidentally <laughs> gets broken in half. Yeah. Um, and then you've got these cool ones like this. So these are the jaw bones. The bottom jaw. The bottom jaw. Mm -hmm. So it would almost go like that. Oh, okay. If that makes I sense. See. And so these are always, you find these mm -hmm. separated all the time. And so those are where those back teeth are. Mm -hmm. And then that's where that really cool long one comes out. Let's see if we could pull it out. Whoa. Let's see. And oh, there we go. This is a really Whoa. long. <laughs> It's pretty much the cola. So that is the really long bottom, you know, front tooth. Yeah. See right there on the pelvic bone. Oh yeah, and yep. it fits right in. Yep, and the there's there it is. Yeah. Oh, so that's so cute. So you can fit that right like that, and there you've got a ball and socket joint, mm. just like we have on our shoulders and our hips. Yeah, that's which awesome. Which is really neat. This is hard to see, but if you can see it, yeah. that's a vertebrae. Wow. And so there's actually a lot of them in pellets. They're mm -hmm. just really hard to find. Mm -hmm. So, and of course they go all the way down the mouse's back. Yeah. This is a shoulder blade. Oh. Right oh, there. I see. Yeah. Isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. And it looks, a lot of these bones look similar, they except do, yeah. for tiny on a yeah. tiny scale Miniature. than ours. Yeah. That's more like a nail. Oh, okay. Whereas that would be a rib. Oh, I see. That one, the nail is thicker. Yep. Mm -hmm. And this is a tooth. And that's a tooth. That's a tooth. Yep. So that's the difference. So to kind of show you yeah. the three, oh, as, as I breathe, <laughs> they're going everywhere. But yeah, that's, so that's a tooth, a rib, and, and a nail. nail. <laughs> Yes, that is correct. If only people right. could make owl people <laughs> pellets. I don't know what that would be like. I guess you wouldn't want to see like what I we ate. Probably, probably not. Probably not the next day. See all sorts of colors. <laughs> That's very true.